Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Astro Exploring. It feels like forever since I've made uh, my last video, and, and that's because it was. So when this goes live, I think it'll have been over three weeks, three and a half weeks since I made my last video. So first of all, I want to say sorry, um, but I, I think I just ran out of, of steam. Uh, but now I'm back, I'm full of energy, full of enthusiasm. Let's do this. We've also had the longest stretch of cloudy nights um, probably this year so far. Um, when I turn them out on later, I'm gonna see what the date is that's punched into the keypad, but it feels like it's been at least six weeks since my uh, last clear night. So tonight I'm gonna to be doing an imaging session with you guys, um, but this one's gonna have a slightly different flavor to it because I actually want to talk to you about this. And uh, at first glance, you might be mistaken to think that this is an ASI Air. Um, however, this is just a plain old Raspberry Pi um, that I bought at the weekend and as luck would have it wasn't expecting this to come this quickly and I absolutely was not expecting this clear night I'm frantically running around um, getting all the kit together charging all my batteries making sure that everything is uh, is good to go um, and yeah totally unexpected um, so this is this is great I mean normally when you buy Astro gear you get non-stop clouds but this time I've had it the other way around I've had non-stop cloud and I buy some kit and it's clear and um, to that end, I've tried convincing the wife tonight that I should buy more Astro gear to get more clear nights, but um, she she's not buying that. So if you guys watched one of my videos a couple of months back called The Next Step in My Astro Photography Journey, um, I will link that into the description down below if you haven't seen it. Um, that video was all about what I'm going to be up to sort of for the rest of this year. Um, in terms of um, what I want to do in astrophotography. So um, some of you may remember that I mentioned Raspberry Pis and Astroberry. And so now I've taken the plunge, I've bought the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this actually arrived yesterday. The SD card arrived today and about three hours ago I loaded the operating system onto it and had a very, very quick um, play around with it. Um, I managed to connect my DSLR to it and that's as far as I've gotten. I'm gonna try and take you through my new imaging setup which will include this. So if you guys haven't heard of Astroberry it is a Linux based operating system uh, that has a lot of familiar astrophotography software on it so it's got um, uh, it's got KSTARS, it's got ECOS, it's got uh, PHD2 for auto guiding and a whole host of, of other things as well. And the beauty of it is that you can run the operating system on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I know a lot of you out there will be familiar with the ASI Air and the newer ASI Air Pro, and I'm absolutely um, not knocking that at all. Um, however, the new ASI Air Pro is over 300 quid, and I bought the Raspberry Pi with the case and the plug for 70 quid, and then my SD card was a tenner. So I've spent about 80 quid um, just under 80 quid um, getting this so it's a, a much cheaper solution right so I'm over here with my equipment I'm about to turn it on so we're, we're all gonna see uh, when the last time I had a clear night was and as ever guard pup Hugo is uh, here guarding me and the equipment he's such a good boy uh, right let's turn this on let's, have, let's all have a laugh at how rubbish the skies are in the UK start from park no Okay, that's my location, time zone. Wow, the 6th of August. That's not quite as bad as I'd expected. It's the 5th of September today, so it's been exactly a month um, since I was able to uh, do any imaging. That is not uh, anywhere near as bad as I'd thought, actually. So, uh, so I'll take that, actually. Okay, so now that I've um, polar aligned and slewed to my target which uh, tonight is going to be the North American Nebula. I'm going to revisit that to add some more data to it from earlier on in the year. So when you first try to connect to Astroberry this is the screen that you're greeted with. I've connected the Raspberry Pi outside and earlier I set it up to be on my home Wi-Fi um, to, so that I could sit in the uh, spare bedroom with the laptop. Um, so fingers crossed that when I hit this connect button it actually works because I haven't tested this <laughs> since I've put it outside. So let's give this a go and see uh, see if it works. You know the old IT saying, turn it off and back on again? Well, works a treat. <laughs> that's, that's what I did and uh, it now works. So let's log in. 
Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about um, the initial setup um, and everything. I'll I'll do a more detailed video about Astroberry uh, at a different time. I want to, to focus this video on specifically about using it for a imaging session. Um, okay, so you can see we've got some various bits of software along the top. There's there's more software on here through the menu, but uh, the bit of software that I'm interested in now is KSTARS. From here, it will become uh, quite obvious that I've got no idea what I'm doing. So let's try and figure all of this out together. <laughs> um, okay, this wizard will help me set up some basic options. Okay, I kind of went through some of this earlier. I'm not really bothered. I'm keeping this quite simple tonight. Um, you can use this for um, plate solving. Um, you can use it to control the mount, slew to your target and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I, because I've only had this for a couple of hours, I just want to keep this really simple. Um, so all I want to try and do is literally just control the camera for tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chalk it up as a success. If I if I can use Astroberry to um, take images uh, with the DSLR tonight, um, the beauty of that is that if it doesn't work, I can always um, go back to my re remote shutter release cable um, and just uh, do it that way. So um, from here in KStars, I'm going to go to um, Ecos. Now I set up a profile in here earlier just to try and test uh, the connection to the DSLR. So I created this profile called DSLR Profile, um, and that's so that I had the right indie drivers um, and stuff. So uh, I've selected that profile. I'm going to hit start, and no cameras detected. Isn't that taboo? Uh, that might be because I need to start my indie web manager. Okay, not sure why that failed, but that's now online. Basically, what you're doing here is you're telling the um, the Indie Web Manager what drivers you want to load. So um, I've selected Canon DSLR drivers. Um, I set that up earlier, but you have to start it if you shut it down, which I did, and I forgot to uh, to restart it. So um, hopefully this now works. Um, no cameras detected. What well, isn't that nice? Back in here, DSLR profile. Start. Okay, no cameras detected. Check the power. Okay, well, I know the camera is turned on because I was just using it to focus with the button of mask, so I'm not sure what the problem is there. It might be that it's not plugged in properly because that was a problem that I had earlier. The USB ports seem to be quite tight. Right, I went downstairs, checked it was turned on, and it wasn't. So. <laughs> That thing, that thing I said about, I know it's definitely turned on, is a complete lie. So, if I start this now, it should... Oh. Now, why is it that when you test something, it works first time, but when you want to use it for real, it doesn't? We have a saying at work, is that you should never uh, live demo software, because um, something will always go wrong, even if you've done it a hundred times and you use it every day. If you try and demo it to someone, something will always go wrong. So I've done everything that I can, I've checked everything that I can, and there's nothing more I can do, so if this doesn't work, which it's not, I'm not really sure what else I can do. Um, my Astro Dark starts about, about now, um, but I need to do a Meridian Flip at 11 anyway, and then I can, I can I haven't yet bought a second battery for my camera, so um, I can only really image for about three and a half hours anyway, so I'll keep going um, for a little bit and see if I can get this working. Um, if not, I will just revert back to my remote shutter release cable and um, revisit uh, this tomorrow because I'm not sure why this is not working. Alright, so that's been nothing short of an epic fail. I'm not sure why the camera wouldn't connect. It connected absolutely fine um, when I was testing it out inside the house earlier. Um, I've brought the Pi inside, I've given it a go, I've um, 
deleted all the settings that I'd set up and I've um, created a new profile and everything but um, it's still not working so um, I didn't think that that was the bit that I was going to struggle with <laughs> so uh, never mind um, I, f I will uh, for tonight just revert back to my remote shutter release cable uh, I've just done my meridian flip so um, I'll get my images running in a second um, North American Nebula and um, two minute exposures ISO 800 I already captured three hours of data on this about two months ago um, so I'm hoping to add another few hours to it tonight and um, I hope you like this video um, sorry that it was a bit disjointed and um, yeah I, I thought it was important to um, share the failure with you I'm, I'm quite aware that I could have just um, waited for another clear night and um, got it all working and, and showed you the success but um, Sometimes I, th I think it's probably motivating for beginners who are getting frustrated and struggling in the hobby to um, to see that actually um, us YouTubers don't get it right all the time. And we go through the same struggles, the same frustrations as everybody else does. And um, I thought it was important to, to share that, so I hope you appreciate it. I will try and get that working for next time. Um, and then I'll also, uh, when I've got more familiar with it in a, in a few weeks time or so, it depends on how many clear nights I get, I'll do a much um, deeper uh, session of how AstroBerry works. Um, but for now, um, if you like this video, uh, do remember to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss another upload. I'm Nick and you've been watching Astro Exploring. I hope you enjoy the image at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.